Hi there, my name is Will, and today I'm gonna to walk you through how error handling works inside of Kestria. Now in this example I have here, we have a flow that is going to fail thanks to the fail task that we're using here. Now, because we're using the errors block here, which is similar to the tasks block, we can list the number of tasks we want to run whenever a workflow fails. This is useful because we've got a Slack webhook task set up here to send us an error message to let us know that the workflow has failed. So if I execute this now, we'll see that that errors block will only run because the task failed. But if I was to change this to a log message, we will see that it won't run. When I execute this now, we'll see that it will not run that Slack webhook. And we can see from the topology view that it did not run. We can also use a flow trigger like we discussed in the triggers episode to automate this error process. So instead of having to put the errors block in each of our workflows, this workflow will listen for any flows that finish with a failed or warning status and then run the tasks above, which in this case is a Slack webhook. We can also manage retries with our workflows as well. So in this example here, we have a task using the retry property, which allows us to say, try running the task again and give it a maximum number of attempts. This is saying for every two seconds, try again. If it hits five attempts, then we'll fail it. But if we look at the logic, it's going to fail for the first four attempts, but then pass for the fifth. So what we'll see here, it's going to retry it four times, but it will eventually be successful. This is very useful if you have a task that is sometimes prone to failing and you just want it to restart rather than failing the whole flow. And as we can see from the Gantt chart here, it did fail the first four attempts, um, but it was successful on the fifth allowing that retry property to be very essential. Hopefully you found this useful and you're gonna catch your errors quicker. In the next episode, we're gonna look at how you can run your code inside of Kestra to extend things even further.